Okay, um, definitely one of the last feature of uh, I really want to get into is the boot. Um, most people tend to take the boot for granted. Uh, definitely one of the first thing that you should try on before you even consider any snowboard if you're buying a package is definitely your boot. Uh, you don't want to have sore feet, especially when you're riding. Definitely, you'd hate snowboarding if you do hate that. Uh, if, if your if your if your uh, boot doesn't fit you properly. Um, other main reason why I do feel that that boot is very important, again, not just because it actually keeps your feet nice and dry, but again, the main reason for them is like, it'll actually give you a better response for your for your boot, uh, from, not from your boot, but from your riding ability. Um, a stiffer boot makes it a little bit more responsive, and a lot of the park guys, which are a lot of, uh, a lot of, we do sell, it's a little bit of softer ones, and um, what it does like, for, uh, for jumping and jibbing, he definitely want a little bit softer boot, and then for a lot of the guys that, uh, that do a lot of backcountry or free ride or even uh, just groom runs, you definitely want to offer you uh, a little bit of stiffer boot again, not just for its looks, but definitely for its response. Um, features about um, about, uh, about the boots that I want to talk about is there's two main kinds of boots out there now in the market. Um, there's of course the traditional lace up and the boa system. Again, traditional lace up, again, original, it started off with Sorel boots and it came to these guys which they do offer inner linings now, usually heat moldable, which I, I recommend for everyone. What the heat moldable does is actually form to your feet. By, by riding it by the end of the day, it'll form to your feet and it'll be the best and most comfortable thing that you'll ever buy. So uh, I do offer that, look for that in the box, if, on a boot and uh, if when you're looking for one, make sure it's actually heat moldable. Uh, you, uh, you ask them to the, if it's warm, uh, definitely one of the most important part. And of course, before I go on any further, I'd like to say that Buy good socks. Uh, most people tend not to buy it and just ride regular socks. Buy good socks and it makes a big difference in snowboarding. Um, the other one too, uh, with the features like this, with the book, with a with the liner and everything like that, you want to make sure that it has a lace up system inside to keep your feet nice and tight. And definitely, once you put it in, you'll notice a difference between a low end boot and a high end boot. Just definitely, but just the way it fits. Uh, high end boot, you just want to make sure it fits right don't want too much play in the back you definitely don't want it feel like it's coming off or anything like that but with a normal lace up system you should be able to achieve the optimal optimal setup without having to have it super super tight and of course you don't want it cutting off your circulation and feel like your foot's coming off and the last one um, definitely one of my one of the favorite uh, lace up system for the lazy guys out there uh, it's called the boa system Definitely wanna became super popular about three years ago. They offer them now in a variety of different colors, different sizes, and of course everything. And they even offer it in a liner now, so that you can actually adjust how tight you want it to be. But the the main difference between this one, not just because of its uh, not just because of its look, is uh, the the main features of them is its easy accessibility. Just uh, pull, and you're out, and crank, and push down, and you're in. And that's the main reason why the Boa system has become super popular. It's not. It's because of the easy, the the easy accessibility to ride in and out of this guy. And that's the Boa system. So definitely look out for a Boa system. Um, the main the main advantage of this one again easy accessibility. But the other cons, I, I the features that I I, I definitely that kind of always look forward to. It's like make sure you don't over tighten this guy, because because um, it will actually cut off your circulation again. Um, definitely one of the ones that. If you notice it that if you're super super, uh, your feet get super um, cold. It's not just because may, you might not have crappy boot, but you definitely has over tightened up your boot. So definitely, if you want like a feature that way, grab the Boa system. So.